When styrofoam was invented in the 1940s, it was an instant wonder product. Cheap to make, water resistant and insulating, styrofoam and other types of foamed polystyrene became the go-to material for packaging. Like these so-called styro boxes used to keep fish cold, they are a common sight in markets in Hong Kong. But some of the qualities that make foamed polystyrene great for storing produce are actually bad for the marine environment. Polystyrene foam is one of the lightest types of plastic. It breaks apart and blows away easily into waterways. And here in Hong Kong, foamed polystyrene makes up over a fifth of debris on the ocean surface. That's according to a 2015 study. As awareness about the environmental toll of plastic grows, some countries are clamping down on polystyrene items like cups and takeout containers. But polystyrene coolers are often left out of the picture. And for food producers with tight profit margins, there aren't many affordable alternatives. In the Philippines, one startup says it is working to change that with a solution that calls a win for both humans and the ocean. It's 8 p.m. in Legazpi on the southeast coast of the Philippines' Luzon Island. As fish traders sell the last of their catch for the day, one man is peddling different wares. This one would last years. Kasi wala siyang, it has no weak point around the construction. Julius Bucatora runs the operations of Fortuna Cools in the Philippines. It's a startup founded in 2018 by a pair of Stanford University students to develop a longer lasting alternative to polystyrene coolers. What they normally do is they just reinforce this with packaging tape. But once this reaches to a level where it can't handle anymore, then next thing is they'll just have to discard this. That poses a problem for local fishermen and the marine environment, Bukatara says. 70% of Filipinos have no access to efficient disposal and recycling systems, and most of the styrofoams that are collected starts to break down and gets into the ocean. So there's really a need for us to fix the problem with styrofoam boxes. To do that, Fortuna Cools turned inland to another abundant source of waste in the Philippines, coconut husks. The Philippines is the second largest producer of coconuts in the world after Indonesia, and every year an estimated 9 billion of the fruit's outer husks are burned or left in the field where they can take years to biodegrade. But it's this durability that gives the husks some of the same properties as polystyrene, Bukatara says. Cocoa fibers actually have a very good insulation uh, capability. And that's where Fortuna Cools saw an opportunity. The startup partnered with Justino Arboleda. The professor turned manufacturer developed technology to make insulation out of coconut husks as a way to provide extra income to local coconut farmers. They did not know what to do with their farms. They only know how to harvest the coconut, so we thought we have to do something about it. This is how it works, the startup says. 30 coconut farms deliver husks to Arboleda's factory for the coolers. The husks are broken down into fibers, air-dried, stitched and pressed into insulation boards that make up the sides and the lid of the box. Selling for around $20, the Fortuna cooler is at least double the price of polystyrene boxes, according to the company. But it says food producers can use the coconut-based coolers for up to a year, much longer than polystyrene options. So most of our fishermen have a very razor-thin margin on what they do. And using styro boxes that easily gets broken affect their income. So we're developing a system here where the initial cost is higher than the standard styro boxes, but it pays off by itself in a three-month period of time. Fortuna Cools is also selling a cooler for consumers, tapping into the growing demand for sustainable polystyrene alternatives. The consumer appetite for change can have an impact across the polystyrene supply chain, some experts say. We as consumers use styrofoam polystyrene in various forms in the choices that we make on a daily basis. So there is a big need to be able to change and influence that behavior because that in turn will be able to spur a change in what is being produced. 
You don't have to wash the entire box. Fortuna Cool says it is producing 1,000 of its alternative coolers a month. The company says it has raised almost a million dollars in public and private funding to build its next prototype and expand its operations to other regions in Southeast Asia, anywhere coconuts grow. For Bukatara, it's a win-win solution. We are actually building uh, opportunities for our coconut farmers to have a much better improvement on, on their livelihood and at the same time contributing to the reduction of plastic pollutants in the ocean. Whether in the Philippines, Israel or Hong Kong, innovation that profits both humans and the ocean is more than an added bonus. It's a necessity. The time to act is now because the climate change is it's only getting worse. And while the job is far from done, these entrepreneurs are hopeful they can inspire the next wave of invention. There is talent that should support this. We can figure this out.